Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a, another vlog because I don't have any other video ideas. Actually no, that's not true. I just wanted to do a vlog, but this is going to be focused on one book only. The vlog will end whenever I finish the book. I just got a notification in my AirPods. This creeps me out so much like every single time. Anyways, basically today um, is Wednesday. I have a book delivery coming tomorrow. I thought it would be exciting to show you guys that because I'm really pumped about the book that's coming. Should I tell you? No, I'm going to make you wait. And then I also have the clothing packaging coming today i've got a shirt that i'll show you guys I'm literally obsessed with and hopefully it's perfect because otherwise i'll cry but then the main thing i'm doing i should brought it here but i'm actually gonna be re reading my first ever rilke which is um letters to a young poet it's on the screen here i'm really pumped for it Talk about a little bit about that later but i thought i'd just take you guys along with me on this little week slash weekend while i'm reading it it's actually a really nice day today which put me in a good mood and yeah should be a good week i'm really excited for the book I have to read in all my packages. The package was due yesterday and I got a message from Hermes being like, we couldn't find your address, sorry about it. They were like, please fill out some information about how we might be able to find it like if we deliver again. And so I filled out a bunch of information and they were like, okay, great, we'll try again today. And today I got a message from them again saying that I wasn't home. And I was looking out for this package like the entire, like three hours within the delivery window and there was no homies truck or anything like that nothing we live in quite a secluded place and i would have seen so i'm a little bit mad but it's okay my brother works within like the film industry basically and i'm like, kind of doing like a little mini part-time internship thing for him editing scripts so that's what i spent the majority of today doing it was kind of boring so i didn't film anything I might read this evening I kind of feel like i'm in that mood and film a little bit of that hopefully so i'll start my book but i'm really excited about it i should tell you a little bit about it i might do that now i'm speaking really weirdly by the way it's because i'm really cold my mum got mad that we had the heater on all day so she turned them all off so it's freezing in my house now anyways what was i saying oh yeah Rilke. I found out about Rilke, like many of you might have, through Emmy or Emma here on YouTube. She has the most lovely channel. She commented on one of my videos like two years ago. It was like a favourites video or something and it was the most awful video. We flash forward, she started a channel and she's gorgeous and she speaks so eloquently and her videos are always beautiful and I just, I'd, I just like cringe at the fact that She'd, been, she'd watched one of my videos, especially from that era of my life, and I wanted to die. And then just after I'd spotted that old comment, she commented on one of my recent videos, and now, like, we've spoken a little bit, and she said that she watched my channel, and I said that I love her channel and everything like that, because I actually told her um, that I bought Rilke book because of her. She absolutely adores Rilke. Raina Maria Rilke. Wilke? Oh my gosh, Rilke was a German writer, but I think his writing is very, like, kind of wise and introspective and poetic and i'm really excited to read it yeah he was kind of like famous for responding to like his fan mail when people are kind of like well known top of their area um they get a lot of fan mail and it's rare for like anyone to get a response let alone the amount of people that um Rilke responded to very like generous with his time and he wrote an extraordinary amount of letters i put the number on the screen because i did look it up a little while ago but i can't remember exactly but it was just a ridiculous amount i can't believe someone was able to write that much in their lifetime one of these like, series of letters was between him and this aspiring poet and yeah i'm gonna start reading it i'm gonna tell you guys what i think it'll be quite an emotional but like fulfilling experience and i'm just so excited to read some beautiful literature with some great quotes and um words that kind of speak to your soul a little bit because i haven't really had that since picture of dorian gray which i read in no oh, i finished it in january so it's been a little bit of a while you guys should subscribe to emmy if you haven't already she just recently hit 100k she deserves like a million but i, I i'm like i'm so kind of sad because i want her channel to be like a little bit of a secret because it's just so special and such like a peaceful kind of secret garden away from the rest of the internet like i said i'm glad that she's getting the recognition she deserves because content is just lovely and has really soothed me a lot of the time so i feel like um if it can do that for anyone else that's all the better this is my copy by the way it's um one of the little what do they call these penguin little black classics which is in store only cost a pound um which is amazing but i paid it a little bit more than that because I bought it online and pay for shipping and everything on top of that but there's hundreds of them so you can tell there this is number 103 they're just really adorable little books and they're nicely made considering how cheap they are the size of my hand my hand's very small so he's tiny but he's a cutie but yeah I recommend you guys pick this one up if you're interested um in this edition because it is um so inexpensive and adorable 
I want all of these now. <laughs> I actually bought it during lockdown. That's the reason why I got it online, otherwise I would have definitely got it in store. <laughs> And I will also be annotating this little book because I'm sure there's like a million lines that I will love. So yes, I'll just be using my normal animata an animation. <laughs> Anim oh my gosh, annotation system. So I did a video like a little while ago explaining it, but I, it's changed a little bit. I might do an update one in the future, but I'll link it on the screen if you um, are curious. I've been annotating since 2019 now. This is the exact sort of book that I just want to fill with my thoughts as I'm reading it. I shall be doing just that. Day. If you saw that little bit of b-roll footage, you'd see that postman came, but he didn't deliver my book. Also haven't had any update on the shirt. They said it would be coming today, but um, they said that yesterday and they haven't like updated the delivery thing, which they should have, but... So basically I'm not having a good time with deliveries, but anyways, I'm still in a reasonably good mood because it is one of the warmest days of the year so far. Bright blue skies, really sunny, and I stepped outside there for a minute and it was really lovely. So I'm gonna go outside and read some of my little book and I'm gonna read it in the sun for at least like half an hour or something. I'm wearing this white shirt, which I love. I love button up short sleeves. I think they're so cute. And um, definitely give like a little bit of a retro kind of vintage look to my outfits. This is an old one of my mum's, but it also makes me look like I'm actually see-through because I'm about the same shade as it. So it'd be good to get a little bit of tan maybe or something along those lines. Awesome. Like literally everything I say just reminds me of Oxy Monkeys and Last Shadow Prophet references. This is the fringe we're dealing with. She's not corroborating, it's going in my eyes, but I couldn't really be bothered to style it, so I just kind of ran a straightener through it very quickly. And then I'm just in some mom jeans. <laughs> a little bit of a better look at my outfit. I'm putting it in a plant, which is probably not the best idea, but things we do for fashion, huh? This is her. I love it. I just love shirts like this. The shirt I bought that should be coming soon. Oh my gosh. Really zoomed in. Is um, also this kind of style. What is wrong with my hair for real? I usually have really good hair days and whenever I'm filming it's just, just a disaster. Anyways, I'm gonna go outside and sit this on and just ignore my hair in replacement for a good look. wet but I really don't mind because I'm just chilling um okay let's go it's noticed that I've sat down in a little fairy circle which is literally the most magical thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life there's something magical about reading my first Rilke on one of the sunniest days of the year, one of the warmest days of the year, and surrounded by mini mushrooms on the grass in one of my favourite shirts. It's all coming together, guys. Such a bad shot, I apologise, but now I'm going to start reading and stop talking. Listen to the birds. This literally is perfect. We have a little visitor. I'm keeping very still. <laughs> Hello, sir. But they don't usually come close at all, so this is quite special. Sorry about the traffic as well. getting absolutely covered in spiders <laughs> which I'm not a fan of they're only tiny ones they're not really bothering me but still um, and the other thing is that's that I have like a million things that I'm underlining in this I'm literally on page four and I just I'm underlining like every single line so I think I'm gonna have to go in and um, kind of sit down somewhere where I can lean maybe a table or something so I'm most able to um, pour I'm feeling into these pages because I think it's necessary. So I'm gonna head in, finish this letter, and maybe read another letter inside. I have other things to do, I have work to be doing, sadly. Oh, it's the sweetest Robin. He's gonna fly before I can show you a bit. Can you see 
you see him? Sorry about that truck, but he's so sweet and I know that I'm gonna, this is bad quality. I think he's a robin, but he's holding feathers in his mouth. He's probably making a little nest. So don't mind the angle. Um, actually, this is not going to work. Sit here. Okay. It's like just some balance. Okay, so I haven't spoken to you in a few days. But I thought I would check in now. I think I've read three of the stories and there are ten in there. When I say stories, I mean letters. I think I'm going to read a bunch more today because I don't have any plans, which is fun. I had a super busy day. Um, yesterday it's nice to have a bit of a break so we went to food shopping this morning went into the bookstore it's been kind of rubbish lately actually um which is funny because they've got a lot of stock but there's never anything good in there we bought a dvd we got um grand budapest hotel which was sealed for 99p pretty fun but other than that it was unsuccessful i got a starbucks hot chocolate which was nice <laughs> and then i got home just had lunch i had leftover from last night which was vegan pizza with vegan garlic bread like vegan garlic bread best invention ever and now i'm going to spend the afternoon reading i didn't film in recent days because i was doing a lot of work and i realized that the kind of script editing i was doing like it's for a client and i'm sure like within like my brother's company contract or whatever it's not legal for me to be showing you guys the script and also it doesn't feel right anyway so i'm not going to do that it's my friend's birthday i spent the majority of last night making playlists for her this morning i've just been wishing happy birthday whatever i made her like a little edit that she liked. Yeah, I feel like other than that, we've been doing kind of boring things. My mum's on half term, which is nice. So I think I'll vlog this next week coming when this video ends. And yes, but now I just need to do some reading. I'm gonna sit down probably at my desk so I can be like having a surface to annotate on. But yeah, let's go, let's begin. I feel like I have more things to tell you guys, but I just don't. And yeah. Oh, I do have to update you about my package. So I ordered through Hermes. I'm gonna be a little bit of Karen here and like make sure I'm mentioning the name and like dragging them a bit because they're honestly the worst company ever. Today was day five of attempted delivery. First day on Tuesday, can't find your address. And I was like, okay, fair enough. No one can ever find our address. So I contacted them, I gave them um, my home address, I gave them my phone number and I sent them a photo of our exact location on a map. And they were like, good to know, we'll pass it on to the local team or whatever. So they did that apparently, or maybe they didn't, who knows. And they attempted delivery the next day and they were like, sorry, you weren't home. Here's a picture of proof of our delivery, attempted delivery. And it was literally a picture of this guy's like jeans. And I was like, what is going on? Next day, same thing happened. Next day, same thing happened. Then they changed the delivery time on Friday and they rescheduled to the evening, didn't show up, same thing happened. And then today they were meant to deliver between 11 and one and at 11.03 I got a notification saying that I wasn't home which is just literally a lie because I'm here. They said that there's a maximum of three delivery attempts. They've t attempted five times so I'm not sure whether they're just going to keep going because they sent me a message saying they're going to try next working day which would be Monday but I'm at a loss to what to do because I tried calling them, told me to look on the website and then the website just says to like speak through a chat but on the chat you can't get any information other than like a statement saying their package is delayed. I tried emailing someone, the email bounced back and said they don't do that anymore. I looked on Twitter to DM them and they don't run that anymore and the only accounts they respond to are accounts with like 70,000 followers which I definitely don't have. The award for the worst company? Hermes. I never used to have this problem with them but they've stripped back all of their like all of the routes you can kind of get into um speak to a human which is just so annoying. I just don't know what to do about it so what I think I'm going to do is contact ASOS who I, did, who I ordered through because usually like when you contact the company they're like well it's not our problem it's the career's problem but I think I'm going to be con I'm going to contact them and be like you don't understand I literally cannot contact Hermes for the life of me that's surely not a legit response the fact that like I'm not home and then they were like you, you didn't have a safe place for me to leave it and I had just like set in a safe place where they could leave it I'm going insane but I've kind of stopped carrying it right now and I think that if they end up returning it back to the, the warehouse I'll just order it to a different address my only can concern is that I've literally wanted this top for months and it finally went into sale by accident I would have bought it full price but I ordered it when it was in the sale so I feel like it's gonna be sold out by the time like, I'm ready to like reorder it again which would honestly like break my heart but yeah I have not had I've never had like a worse experience with delivery before that is my life right now though nice 
wholesome intellectual real the time and tragic delivery experience let's go read so i can cheer up a bit <laughs> ignore the mess on my bed but i thought i'd do a little outfit of the day um yeah so these trousers are from and other stories and they're really comfortable and they just feel like good quality because they are because and other stories expensive yeah i got them in the sale in end of december i think so i'm not sure whether they'd have them still but i'll link them down below if i can find anything similar and then this jumper it's from Urban Outfitters Men's. It's large, so it's actually huge. You can tell, like, my sleeves are like. Um, but I love it. And I tucked it in a little bit on the side, so it was just kind of like this. But yeah, it says, um, bored of being bored. I actually got it for free, because um, some long story where, like, I just ended up getting it, so no one wanted it, so I had it. And I just feel like this statement is just, like, life. You know? Bored of being bored, lockdown and everything like that. Although, I did read in Rilke, there's a line that was talking about boredom actually it says if your everyday life seems to lack material do not blame it blame yourself tell yourself you're not poet enough to sum up its riches for there's no lack for him who creates and no poor trivial place so Rilke has just been like that's a lie i actually do really agree with him i find it so irritating when people say they're bored if you are surrounded by the things that we have access to now i understand if you're there if you're sitting in like a waiting room and you're bored but if you're at home and you're surrounded by books and you have your phone and you have music and you have art and everything like that it's just like you're not allowed to be bored i kind of disagree with this statement but i didn't buy the jumper it was a gift but yeah i do feel like this is kind of lockdown coronavirus kind of relevant anyway so this is my outfit it was very cozy and comfy but i think like a little bit springy because of these or summery because of these trousers okay i'm gonna go and read because i'm procrastinating it even though I literally don't want to do anything wrong. Let's go. Did I just drop a sticker? balancing on a five centiliter vodka bottle yeah it's about three inches tall sorry about my hair I, I, my forehead looks massive because of a fringe now anyway i just want to do a little bit of talking so i am on page 26 and so far so good but i read a letter that i want to talk about a little bit it's written on the 16th of july which is my birthday which made me feel stupidly um excited for no reason anyways he was talking about the relationship of being an artist and then sex whether that's like um physical or spiritual i don't know if i can even say this on this channel without getting demonetized so i just won't mention it anymore but yeah it was kind of interesting started talking about the importance of solitude and it was this quote that i wanted to read but your solitude even in the midst of quite foreign circumstances will be a hold and a home for you and leading from it, you will find all the paths you need. And I just felt like that is a very important thing. And I wrote at the top of the page, actually, that this is about solitude, not loneliness. I actually did a um, photography project, my photography A-level, on the difference between so solitude and loneliness. And I took pictures of people, like, on their own, like street photography. I think it's such an important thing to distinguish between those two things, because I know of so many people, like, in my personal life, and people I don't know personally, but I, I can see their stories where they're particularly in relationships, like, continually in a relationship throughout their entire life with, like, month or, um, maybe, like, a, a year maximum gap between each relationship. And then when kind of final relationship that breaks down and they don't immediately get into one after that they're at a loss of like what to do and how to handle themselves because they've grown so used to having someone there it's almost like a weight like a that weight of the presence of someone else and like particularly in people who have like who get divorced because they may have dated since they're like a teenager just another person another person another person they get into a long marriage and then they get divorced and the divorce point they're kind of opened up to the idea of being alone which if you haven't learned to like love your, not love yourself necessarily, I think that's a bit too much, but to love your own company, it can be kind of quite quite a scary thing. And as someone who's like, oh my gosh, this lighting, sorry. But as someone who's never been in a relationship and has grown used to solitude, it's probably all very well for me to say this, but I feel like it, I do appreciate as much as it would be nice to have someone that I've got to experience so much of my life on my own. That doesn't mean that there haven't been people who've like come in and out, but like, 
in terms of being like long-term relationships it's never happened for me and i just like i think it's something to appreciate and he actually mentions here how you should be thankful for your solitude take pleasure in your growth in which no one can accompany you and be kind-hearted towards those you live behind and be assured and gentle with them and do not plague them with your doubts or frighten them with your confidence or your joyfulness which they cannot understand love in them a form of life different from your own and show understanding for the older ones who fear precisely the solitude in which you trust but believe in a love which is stored up for you like an inheritance and trust that in this love there is strength and a benediction out of whose sphere you do not need to issue even if your journey is a long one that's talking about a bunch of things i've kind of just like collected together not focus but yeah i just thought it's a valuable lesson i think this book is amazing for someone who's kind of like just about to start their career so whether you're like a teenager or um young adult i think this is perfect so it's letters to a young poet it's about someone like embarking on something it's really reading like advice and i think it's really valuable and brings up these things that seem minor but um can really greatly impact your life and i appreciate rilke's thoughts on this actually there's a quote at the beginning of this book I'll see if i can find try and find it yeah so the, this is the quote from the um boy he's writing to actually there's like a little preface where he writes like explaining the letters that are to follow and he says and where a great and unique person speaks the rest of us should be silent i didn't completely connect with it because i i believe that um like everyone's equal obviously and no one has more value than another but it does feel like whenever rilke says anything because he's being so introspective and internal with everything he does and how he says that everything comes from the inner it does kind of demand like a silence and you to be listening to him i think this is definitely a book that you you can't be reading if you're like really hyped up you know i really don't think i explained to you why i've only got one tab and it's because every single page i have underlining on and so this should have like 100 tabs in 26 pages or whatever i'm trying having to be really restrained with how much i'm using them but i might go back and add more depending on how i go through it because there are definitely quotes that i would remember why i want to remember but i don't want to use 100 tabs on this tiny little book necessarily <laughs> paragraph this letter the first paragraph is talking about solitude again and it's like i was saying about how there are times when you can feel lonely within that but you shouldn't always be like that and he actually says there is only one solitude and it is vast and not easy to bear and almost everyone has moments when they would happily exchange it for some form of company be it ever so banal or trivial for the illusion of some slight correspondence with whoever one happens to come across however unworthy but perhaps those are precisely the hours when solitude grows for its growth is painful like the growth of boys and sad like the beginning of spring I have to move because my beanbag is knocking over my records. So, we're gonna relocate. I think it's such a weird thing. I'm like leaning over my beanbag. <laughs> I wanna meditate on some of the things that I am learning. Let's go. letters left two of which are a page long so i'm nearing the end where's my pencil case i swear i just had it gosh it's gonna be right in front of me isn't it yes yeah, so i'm nearing the end i'm gonna have a break i've got a headache and i think i need to get some water i might move outside because it's a nice day so i'm gonna update my goodreads my phone which keeps lighting up every day and second instagram notifications yeah i maybe gonna update with you guys Update 32. I'm now 61% of the way through. You guys can see that. Nice. I'm gonna get some water and I'm also gonna have a break from vlogging.
feel like it was like just what I needed. And particularly the last like couple of letters, like three letters. I just spoke about how I've been feeling, how the importance of like time in like healing how you how you are. And then the last letter just ended with this line that said, May the year to come maintain and strengthen you in it ever yours, RM Rilke. It just felt like he was literally speaking to me, which is just like one of the like beautiful things about literature that is um that's surprisingly rare to capture. Yeah. He kind of, he kind of spoke about how I've been feeling but in like a way that was so sensitive but still practical and gave you kind of action steps to take but also wasn't super direct which um, I just feel like was exactly what I needed so yeah I'm going to speak to you guys tomorrow when I have a bit more energy I feel really tired tonight actually I felt tired at like 10 and it's now 10 past 12 like unusually so I have to get up kind of early tomorrow but I'll speak to you about it more later and I've just kind of settled in a bit more and I'm, I'm not still kind of reeling from the impact it's a really special one I don't know whether I want to go at 4.5 or 5. It's interesting because he talks about how he disagrees with criticism and like reviews and things like that. But I kind of want to read an essay on it or something to kind of better understand it a little bit more. Like 4.5 for the writing and everything, like it's content, and then half an extra star for how much this person they kind of affected me. Anyway, I'm going to get to bed so you guys don't have to listen to me half talking anymore. And I'll see you tomorrow while I'll wrap up the read and turn the vlog off. It's the next day and I thought I'd sum up my thoughts quickly before I edit this video because I want to just get it going so I can get it up for you guys. Yeah, I'm not crying this morning. Like I thought I'd have a lot to say to you guys but I really feel like I've said most of it already. It's a beautiful book. You should all read it. Particularly if you're a writer or you enjoy words, beautiful language, everything like that. It's written like in a very practical way but it's also very beautiful. Like he just is like inherently, well he's a poet so he's like inherently artistic with his words. And I definitely recommend it. If you're interested at all, pick it up. You don't have to read all the letters in one go but I do think it was more impactful that way, maybe. Basically all I have to say, hope you guys enjoy this video. If you want to see more kind of single book focused reading vlogs, stick around because I'm sure I'm going to be doing a lot more of those in the future. I've got plans for other ones with different themes. I'm hopefully going to be uh, vlogging uh, very soon actually for Malibu Rising because I'm buddy reading it with a friend. And then that's about everything I have to say. Bye. I literally never end vlogs by putting my hand on the lens so let's just do that again okay i'm gonna go now bye